Hello, parent and school educators. Welcome back to another episode of Peeking Through Books with Auntie Marcella, Dr. Watts. Last episode, we dealt with the writing to respond process with a grade K through two child. We looked at step one, identify. Step two, summarize. We went through how to ask lower other thinking skill questions. Then we looked at React, which deals with using students' social, emotional feelings or their skills to answer questions about how they feel. We also looked at how do we ask evaluative and analysis questions. This week, we will look at the last two steps of the process, questions and suggestions. And I will also help you just walk you through the workbook and show you how you can use it to help your child develop the critical thinking skills that they need in order to prepare for writing. Before I begin, I just want to remind you, I hope you visited my website, budinwriters.com, and downloaded your free chart, your K through 2 chart. And as we, next week, when we begin the grades 3 to 5, you will be able also, if you have a grade, grades 3 to 5 child, you will also be able to download that chart as well. So I hope you have your chart and you were able to use it to help your child develop those skills orally. The next step of the process is question. We want students to ask questions. What happens when students ask questions? It leads to research. So for example, on this page, we have something that says a few are big. So some rodents are big and I can see the picture of a rodent on here that is larger than we've seen in the past or normally. So what we would, we would encourage students to ask questions of things that they do not know. So a child who is already writing, we can have them to write that sentence, that one question that they have. So for example, what is this large rodent called? Where can we find this large rodent? That's what the child would be asking, not you. The child is asking questions based on anything that, they, that puzzles them. Um, if the child cannot write sentences, they can probably write a word. And if they can't write words, we want them to draw a picture. But we want the child to understand that it's okay to ask questions. We do not expect you to have all the answers or to have gotten it all. And so this is the step four where we have students ask their own questions. The final step of the writing process is synthesize or what suggestions do you have? For the K through two student, we usually ask, what suggestions do you have? So for example, with this story that we've been dealing with, the mice are gnawing on someone's pastor and flower. We know that. Um, so one of the questions I could ask is, what if we got rid of all rodents? And so we would have students coming up with ideas, just get them thinking. What if we got rid of all rodents? Probably we might be get rid of rodents in our homes, but what would happen to the owls? What would happen to the animals that depend on rodents as food? Snakes eat rodents as well. So we would want students to be able to ask those questions. Sorry, we want students to be able to solve those problems. Ask them the question and see if they can solve the problem. And of course, you always want them to use evidence from the text. Another question you can ask for older kids, if all rodents were gone, how would it impact the lives of other animals? So all of those questions, the synthesis questions, they are research-based, but they're also creative. They're on the higher level of Bloom's taxonomy where we have kids thinking of that 
creative process. They're problem solving and they're also creating. And here I have the K through two workbook. And then if we go through it together, you will see that it takes you through step by step, just what we did. Students want to be able to identify the aspects of the book. They want to be able to do it, it progresses. And then we move to the point where they can actually start writing it down. We have everything for the summarizing. We do the same thing. We have students being able to draw beginning, middle and end. And we also have for fiction and nonfiction. And we go through the entire process. So you can actually walk through this workbook with your child and um, in your own, in your own um, time. Remember, the idea is to develop critical thinking skills, analytical writing skills, problem solving skills, research skills in K through two students early on so that they can become confident writers by the time they're beginning to write. Following are some examples of students who used it. We've been, we have parents who use it with their children. And we also have schools that have been using it with children. One teacher said to me that children were asking, when next do we go to the media center? When next do we go to the library? So kids are, you know, finding an appreciation for books. Parent and school educators, as we come to a close, just remember that when you use the writing to respond process with your K through two child, you are developing an appreciation for reading. You are developing critical thinking skills. You are also developing research, problem solving skills. And most of all, your child is going to develop close reading skills even before they're able to read independently. You can visit my website at www.budinwriters.com and you can download your free chart. That chart, you can take it to Staples or one of those places to print it. It is a wall chart and you can go through the process with your child. You can also order your workbook on my website. You can order the text on Amazon or on my website. And you can also order the educator wheel, which would actually walk you through the process in case you forget or you do not have time to go on YouTube, you can just use your wheel and it will guide you through. Guess what, educators? We are the ones who can ensure that our kids succeed. The schools cannot do it all. So take some time out and walk your child through critical thinking skills. And guess what? The only way this process will be effective is if you are consistent. So every time you read a book with your child, you go through the process. It cannot just be one time when you remember. It has to be consistent. And we will speak, we will address implementation at some other time. And you will be able to understand how to solidify implementation so that your child will be successful. Until then, bye-bye. Remember to subscribe to this channel, share it with another parent who needs some help, like, and of course, you can listen to my podcast. It's called Rethink It. It's talking about how we can implement concepts and interventions in education. So until next time, bye-bye and thank you for listening.